there. Um, you may have something similar to this on your computer when you start up. United States Department of Justice or some similar uh, type of uh, government agency saying that you need to send the money to unlock your computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to remove this type of infection. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, reboot uh, your machine. Um, so first things first, go ahead and restart your computer. And when you're restarting your computer, what you want to do is um, you want to start tapping the F8 key. Um, by tapping the F8 key, what you're doing is uh, giving yourself other options um, when you boot the computer. So when we restart, <clears throat> start tapping that F8 key. And when we do that, see I missed it. You, if you get this screen, you're not going to be able to fix your issue. So what we need to do is uh, not enable dictation. What we need to do is uh, reboot the machine and start tapping that F8 key. Once you tap the F8 key, you will uh, have your advanced boot options. Uh, I'm running Windows 7. If you have Windows Vista, this will work the same. If you're running Windows XP, um, unfortunately, this method will not work. You'll have to boot to a Windows Vista or a Windows 7 disk to do this. Um, but what you will do is, um, if you do have Vista 7, um, then follow these instructions. So go ahead and uh, uh, click on Repair Your Computer, or hit Enter on Repair Your Computer. And once that gets loaded, um, the next step is to um, load the command prompt from which we will remove the two starting entries for this variant of uh, ransomware. All right, this thing's about up. All right, now where you have booted into the Windows uh, system recovery options, uh, we'll go ahead and hit next through our options. Um, you might have a different user. Um, I have an administrator account enabled here. Um, if you have a password for your computer, go ahead and put that in. I don't have a password on my admin. Once you get to the options menu, go ahead and click on command prompt and then you'll have the uh, command prompt where I want you to type in regedit and this will bring up the registry editor first thing you want to do is you want to open the local machine and then you want to click on file load hive and then we want to find our software file for our software <clears throat> file for our Windows machine. So we go ahead and we browse and make sure you go to C under C we want to go to Windows under Windows we want to scroll down to System32 and under System32 we want to open our config file and then there's our software key. We'll go ahead and select the software and hit open and we can put any name in here so we can just put uh, computer just so we can distinguish it against uh, against these other keys so we'll go ahead and click on computer and we expand that key and now what we want to find is uh, Microsoft underneath Microsoft we scroll down to Windows we expand the Windows we go into current version under that current version, we have the run key, which stores um, programs on startup. So we highlight the run command. And you can see we have a few programs in here. And depending on your variant, they could be all different. Um, typically, the programs and the program files are going to be authentic and they'll be fine. So those are fine. But what's suspicious is this executable file, ifgxpers.exe, which is found in the C program data file. Um, what's being called is this executable and it's also calling itself Adobe ARM which is not correct at all. Um, if you have any type of variant that's in the C program data, IFGXPRS or 
Um, there could be some in C users, the name of your user, uh, app data. Um, those are going to be suspicious files. And generally, if the executable looks really suspicious, um, that could also be a sign that it's the malware. But in this case, the IFG xprs.exe is the malicious file is running. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that key. And after I delete that one, we need to delete one more file that's being called every time the Windows loads. Under Windows NT, we need to go into current version, and then we need to find the win logon. Under win logon, if we scroll down to our shell, we see under our shell it's calling that same exact program. And what we want to do is we want to kill that out of there. We want to run explorer.exe because explorer is the program uh, that Windows loads so you can have your user interface. So we want to load explorer, not that malicious program. Now you can see the shell has been changed to explorer.exe. So now, after all, set, after all said and done, we want to go to file. Actually, I take that back. We want to go all the way back up to the top of our file, or top of our uh, directory here, highlight our computer and we want to unload the hive once we unload the hive it's actually saving all of the changes so after that is done we can go ahead and close um, if you know that that file was it for sure you knew that that was infected file from within here we can actually browse to where that file was at and actually remove it so we could go uh, it was in C uh, program data so we can change our directory into the program data And we can see that the IFG XPERS uh, executables in there, along with the images that they used to uh, lock the screen with. So I can go ahead and delete that IFG XPERS .exe. Um, You don't have to do this step if you properly remove the right threat and if you know what the file is. Um, but if it is a junk uh, file and you do want to get rid of it, we can do it this way too. Um, and I put in the wrong command delete <laughs> ifgxprs okay so now if we look in this folder that file's gone we've also removed it out of the startup entries so now if we exit out of here and reboot the computer uh, we should have a clean um, computer of that variant it should not be uh, the ransomware should not be uh, on this computer anymore if that was the right executable um, I've done this you know plenty of times so I know that that was the one um, but if you are struggling, um, you can send, uh, you know, you can send screenshots of what your registry looks like under those uh, keys, and I'll be able to tell you exactly um, which ones are malicious and which ones aren't malicious. Um, just give me a couple more seconds here, and this thing will be up and running, and I'll just show you that uh, the infection has been cleared up. That method works every time. Um, if you're lucky, you can get into safe mode with command prompt and follow those same steps, except for when you do the registry, you don't have to load the hive. Um, you can just go directly to those files by going to regedit and then HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, run, and then the Windows NT current version, when log on, uh, respectively, without having to load the hive. Um, as you can see, my uh, machine booted up uh, without having that malicious file. Um, I am free to do whatever I want. None of my keys are locked anymore. Um, but that is just a quick tutorial on how to uh, remove the ransomware um, virus, and I hope it helped. All right, thanks.